Okay, so this is what the question says. How many times per minute? Um, times per minute. So it's tell it, oh, yeah. So it sounded like a frequency, and the question is asking us for frequency. How many times per minute does a boat bob up and down on ocean waves? Oh, okay. So it's, um, uh, let me just draw a picture to help visualize. So imagine an ocean and we have a boat that's uh, floating on it. I can draw, but let me just draw a box with a boat that's flowing on it. And there's a wave that's uh, uh, coming towards the boat. Uh, imagine some periodic-ish looking wave that's uh, moving towards the boat. And we are being told the parameters of this wave. Uh, we are being told that it has wavelength of 40 meters and the propagation speed of 4 meters per second. So I want you to visualize what happens to this boat as this wave um, uh, goes towards, comes towards the boat and moves past the boat. Uh, the effect of this wave will be if you are tracking this point of, on the water, as the crest of the wave comes up, this point will go up. As the um, trough of the wave comes up, this point will go down, and then and then back and forth. Um, so, so, so you are monitoring a single point uh, on the wave that's oscillating up and down. So, and the question is asking for frequency of that oscillation. So. In terms of figuring out the answer, it's uh, actually quite simple. There's the, um, you've seen me emphasize this relationship between wave speed and wavelength and frequency. This is the relationship between wavelength, frequency, and wavelength. Uh, wavelength, wave speed. <laughs> um, wave speed is given by frequency times wavelength. The easiest way or the best way I remember this relationship is through the units. The wave speed is given in unit of uh, length per time. Frequency is given in unit of uh, the reciprocal of time. It's cycles per second or you know cycles per time but cycle is in a real unit so it has unit of one over time and wavelength has a unit of uh, length. So you can see here that when you multiply this unit with this unit, you get this unit. Um, <laughs> this kind of checking the unit, we call it dimensional analysis, and it's a highly versatile and useful tool. Um, one of which is that it uh, tells you if uh, your expression makes algebraic sense. And, um, and it won't always be the case that the expressions that make a dimensional sense is correct expression, uh, but it often is. This is one of the cases where this is the only way you can combine frequency and wavelength in a way to get the unit of length per time. And that happens to give you the correct relationship as well. So um, armed with this, we can figure out, okay, so the frequency should be, frequency at which this point oscillates up and down should be, uh, wave speed divided by wavelength. So you just calculate that. I guess the only thing to watch out for is um, here they are looking for an answer per minute and looking at my unit, meters, meters per second. I'm going to answer in per second, so I need to convert that to, um, to per minute unit. So my answer in the uh, times per second unit is the uh, wave speed, 4 meters per second divided by 40 meters. That will give me an answer in, uh, uh, so it, uh, it uh, bobs up and down one tenth of a cycle in a second. So um, in a minute, there are 60 seconds. Oh, so I guess if I just multiply this by 60, so I'm counting how many times it has um, bobbed up and down in 60 seconds, which is a minute. So it bobs up and down six times. That's it. Oh, how was it aligned? Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's, that's not how it was aligned.
Okay. 